NASA's Voyager 1 is about 14.6 billion miles from Earth, making it the furthest human-made object from our planet, having reached beyond the limits of the solar system. And to the interstellar medium. At such distances, things can go wrong with limited or no human intervention to save the day. Plus, Voyagers are already 45 years old, having launched in the 1970s. So when the footprint started sending home some confusing nonsense instead of telemetry data in May of this year, NASA got to work in a remote diagnosis and a solution from Earth. Now, some four months later, they are triumphant, Voyager is back online and communicating perfectly with ground control, as if it never happened. In fact, the fix turned out to be relatively simple for NASA, which is billions of kilometers from the spacecraft. But the spaceship is back in operation with a new mystery. In mid-May, the system aboard Voyager 1, responsible for keeping its high-gain antenna pointed at Earth, known as the Attitude Control and Articulation System, Osaka, began sending home confusing jumbles of data instead. Of the usual reports on the health and condition of the ship. From our point of view, it seemed that the ship had developed something resembling an electronic version of fascia, a disease that causes loss of speech fluency. The data may appear to be generated randomly or may not reflect any possible state. At the time, even more baffling to engineers, Voyager 1 appeared to be in perfect condition despite strange reports about the ship's condition. The spacecraft's radio signal was still strong and stable, which meant that the antenna was still pointed at Earth and not in the configuration that the SAC reports said it had, NASA explained in a statement. Likewise, Voyager's scientific systems continued to collect and transmit data as usual, with none of the strangeness affecting the SAC. What was wrong with the SAC did not trigger a fault protection system designed to put the ship into safe mode when there is a fault. Fortunately, NASA engineers diagnosed the problem and with the diagnosis were able to employ a cure. It turned out that SAC had begun sending its telemetry data through an onboard computer that had stopped working years ago. The dead computer corrupted all outgoing data. All NASA engineers had to do was send the order for them to use the correct computer to send their data home. The next challenge will be to find out exactly what caused SAC to switch computers in the first place. NASA says the system likely received a faulty command from another onboard computer, although they say it's not a major concern for Voyager 1's well-being at this time. The real culprit will have to be found and fixed to avoid future oddities. For the past decade, Voyager 1 has been cruising through interstellar space, out of reach of our sun's magnetic field. This field has offered the spacecraft some protection against cosmic rays and other interstellar radiation, as well that the Earth's magnetic field offers some protection against high-energy particles. Cosmic rays are known to interfere with electronics. Here on Earth, when one of those high-speed energetic particles hits a computer chip, it can cause small memory errors that accumulate over time. It is reasonable to expect that this will also be a problem for Voyager 1's onboard computers. A mystery like this is a normal occurrence in this phase of the Voyager mission, said Susan Dodd, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 project manager, in a statement dated May. The two spacecraft are almost 45 years old, which far exceeds mission planners' predictions. Furthermore, we are in interstellar space, a high-radiation environment that no spacecraft has explored before. We will have to wait to see what new dangers are presented to Voyager 1 on its journey and what new discoveries await it. It's been 45 years since NASA's Voyager spacecraft lifted off from Earth, but the twin explorers are still calling home from billions of miles away. We make the call, hello, are you okay, once a week, says Susan. The controllers have a view of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, an opportunity to share their exact locations on the other side of the heliosphere, a distant region of the solar system whose magnetic field protects Earth and the other planets from lightning.
It was during one of these calls in May that Voyager 1 sent a disconcerting signal. The data from the computer that controls its orientation came back in jumbled chunks, mixing ones and zeros, and it still looked like gibberish. Check engine light, added Bruce Wagoner, a JPL engineer who oversees mission operations. We couldn't isolate it to a specific area. This computer is critical because it keeps the communication antenna pointed firmly in the direction of Earth. Any malfunction or loss of power would cut off humanity's longest distance telephone call forever. Voyager is now so far away that the ship's transmissions take almost 22 hours to reach us, traveling at the speed of light. It's worth waiting for. The shipments include valuable scientific data on interstellar magnetic fields, cosmic rays, and plasma waves. Voyager transmissions are received by the Deep Space Network, a trio of colossal radio antennas located in the Mojave Desert, California, Australia, and Spain. They are spread all over the world to ensure that at least one of them can point to any point in the sky. All three sites have a 230-foot antenna built specifically to listen for voyagers. The further away they are, the harder it will be to hear them. Voyager radios transmit with just 23 watts of power. When those signals reach Earth, they are reduced to a faint whisper, a billionth of a watt. Spacecraft are also weakening each year, as their batteries lose up to 4 watts of power due to the decay of plutonium-238, the radioisotope that powers them. Survival is a series of trade-offs, with a finite energy source that can be sacrificed and conserved. And as for the sudden hijacking of their computers and why Voyager made the switch in the first place, it remains a mystery and one worth solving as it suggests that something else is not quite right aboard the ship. Space At the most remote point reached by a human artifact is NASA's iconic Voyager 1 spacecraft cruising through vast interstellar space. This impressive space probe has managed to reach interstellar space, being the first of its kind to do so. Imagine a spacecraft launched 45 years ago, continuing to explore unexpected regions long after its expected lifespan. This bold NASA mission is redefining space exploration. Surprisingly, the ship is billions of miles from its starting point and is still transmitting data using technology older than a cassette player. But that is not all. Recently, this pioneering mission revealed a terrifying discovery that has excited the scientific community and captured global attention. What could this chilling discovery have been on the final frontier and what implications will it have for us on Earth? It was a historic moment when two impressive spacecraft took off, marking the dawn of space exploration in 1965. Gary Flandro, a brilliant scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, was faced with the monumental task of charting the optimal route for a space probe that will reach the distant giants of our solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. With a simple pencil, a tool prized by 20th century engineers, Flandro made a shocking discovery. He realized that in the late 1970s and early 1980s, the four gas giants would align in a cosmic dance, forming a celestial necklace with Earth. This unique phenomenon meant that a spacecraft passing close to each planet could gain a speed boost from its gravitational pull, as if it were being pulled by an invisible rope. Flandro calculated that a trip from Earth to Neptune, which would normally take 30 years, could be accomplished in just 12 years thanks to these gravitational assists. However, there was a problem, this alignment only occurs once every 176 years. Determined not to miss this extraordinary opportunity, NASA acted quickly. In just 15 days, they launched two identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, in the summer of 1977, aiming to make the most of this cosmic alignment. Little did they know that these twin explorers would break all records in the history of space missions. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, launched more than 45 years ago, 
are still operational and sending revolutionary data from the far reaches of our solar system. They have broken records and explored beyond imagination. With surprising discoveries on the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, they defied our expectations. Voyager 2 reached Uranus in 1986 and Neptune just three years later, the only spacecraft to explore so far away, more than 14 billion miles away. These space pioneers, the size of a Volkswagen Beetle, continue to push our boundaries. With margins of error measured in minutes and multiple attempts to achieve it, the first leg of their journey to Jupiter took them 10 times farther from Earth than Mercury, and they had to navigate through the dangerous asteroid belt, a subject of much debate and speculation previously. In the 1970s, Pioneer 10 and 11 made their way through the supposedly dense asteroid belt unscathed, paving the way for Voyager. But Voyager's challenges didn't end there. With just 69 kilobytes of memory, equivalent to a fraction of the capacity of a smartphone, Voyager's computers had to rely on onboard intelligence to manage the complexity of its journey. Data collected by onboard instruments was stored on 8-track tape recorders before being transmitted back to Earth, using a modest 23-watt transmitter, about the power of a refrigerator light bulb. Equipped with 12-foot-wide satellite dishes, Voyagers used radio communication, traveling at the speed of light, to send and receive messages. However, its immense distance from Earth, advancing three or four light seconds each day, presented challenges in maintaining the connection. Signals from Voyager 2 were taking more than 18 hours to reach us, and increasing interference from terrestrial noise, including radios, televisions, cell phones and more, was making it increasingly difficult to hear the whispers of destiny coming from the spacecraft. Despite these obstacles, Voyagers have defied the odds and continue to surprise astronomers with unexpected discoveries in the interstellar void. Their journey has rewritten our cosmic manual and altered our understanding of the unknown realms of space, far beyond our solar system. There is the enigmatic Oort cloud, a celestial gathering of comet-like entities bound by the sun's gravitational pull, stretching halfway to the nearest star. It remains a distant realm that the voyagers slowly but steadily approach. However, interstellar space, where solar wind phenomena give way, is a more accessible front. This is where the heliopause, the border between our solar system and interstellar space, marks the beginning of unexplored territory. Initially, estimates of the distance of the heliopause before the Voyager probes reached it were inconsistent, but by assuming it to be around 50 astronomical units, AU, funding for the mission was increased. However, when the spacecraft moved away from this landmark, the expected signs of interstellar transit were not detected, leaving scientists perplexed. One of the early indicators of crossing into interstellar space was a sharp increase in galactic cosmic rays, high-energy particles ejected by supernovae and other cosmic cataclysms at nearly the speed of light. However, most low-energy cosmic rays are deflected by the massive magnetic shield created by the heliosphere which protects our inner solar system from most external threats. The Voyager team was also on the lookout for any changes in the dominant magnetic field as the spacecraft moved deeper into the interstellar medium, made up of ionized gases and influenced by nearby stars, it was expected to have a different magnetic field orientation compared with the heliosphere. However, Voyagers reported no such alterations, adding to the mystery. Finally, on August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 finally crossed the heliopause and transmitted intriguing data and confirmed the expected increase in plasma density, there was no indication of a change in the direction of the ambient magnetic fields. This was unexpected, since it was assumed that a change in the direction of the magnetic field would occur when transitioning from a region where the sun's magnetic field prevailed to one influenced by other stars. In November 2018, Voyager 2 embarked on an extraordinary journey to the interstellar coast. Reaching the heliopause, 
The border of our solar system, 120 astronomical units, AU, from Earth, the same distance reached by its twin six years earlier. But what baffled scientists was that Voyager 2 did not detect changes in the magnetic field, according to theoretical models, adding another puzzle to the mix. According to predictions, the heliosphere, influenced by the 11-year solar cycle, should have decreased and increased as should the solar wind. However, none of the existing models could explain this discrepancy, as the solar wind was at its strongest when Voyager 2 arrived, suggesting that the heliopause should have been farther away than 120 Australian dollars. As the Voyager probes delve deeper into the interstellar medium, their data reveals intriguing small-scale changes near the heliopause. Influenced by heliosphere interactions. However, on a large scale, the magnetic field shows negligible variation. This raises questions about whether spacecraft will eventually leave these turbulent coasts behind and encounter the true interstellar magnetic field, or whether the current understanding of the simulation is completely wrong. Some scholars speculate that the voyagers are still within the heliosphere while others are convinced by the significant increase in galactic cosmic rays and plasma density detected by the probes, pointing to the majority opinion. Solving one of the most fundamental puzzles about the heliosphere is like trying to see an aquarium from the fish's perspective. We need an interstellar probe to shed light on it. The Voyager probes are outstanding examples of human exploration and scientific achievements. Despite being powered by outdated technology, they have defied expectations and continue to function, providing valuable data and information about our solar system and beyond. The fact that these probes rely on 50-year-old technology demonstrates the ingenuity and durability of their design. With minimal software and rugged systems, voyagers have managed to push the boundaries of our understanding making astonishing discoveries in uncharted territories. Voyager's depowering poses a challenge, but NASA has been resourceful in managing its operations. Turning off certain instruments and prioritizing power usage allows missions to continue. It is truly remarkable how some instruments, such as the cosmic ray detector, have exceeded their tested limits and continue to operate in extreme conditions. Looking ahead, scientists hope to extend the Voyager's missions until 2030. Energy availability will be a determining factor in their longevity. However, even beyond that, the Voyagers will continue their trajectory through space for thousands of years, outliving our Sun and the heliosphere. They could even pass by neighboring stars and continue orbiting the galaxy for millions of years. In the end, Voyagers could become silent witnesses to our existence, carrying with them a record of humanity. They are a testament to our curiosity, exploration, and scientific progress. The Voyager saga is a source of inspiration, reminding us of the vastness of the universe and the enduring spirit of human exploration.